हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 242 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट अ फोर्स ऑफ 200 न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द एंड ऑफ द रेंच टू टाइटन अ फ्लेंज बोल्ट व्हिच होल्ड्स द व्हील टू द एक्सेल एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट एम प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द फोर्स अबाउट द सेंटर ओ ऑफ द व्हील फॉर द पोजीशन ऑफ द रेंच शोन राइट सो the wrench is in this position which is making 20 degrees with the positive x axis so uh, let me draw the free body diagram so let's say that this is my positive x axis and the wrench is making 20 degrees right so let's say that this is the position of the wrench which is making 20 degrees and the length of the the per, the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from this point is given which is 450 meters right and let's say that this point let's say that this point is x let's say right so let's say this is our x point and the center is at a distance of uh, 125 divided by 2 right so the distance between these end to end flanges is 125 uh, these end to end uh, flange bolt is 125 mm right so let's say that this is the x and let's say that this is x dash right so this bolt is x and this bolt is x dash right and the perpendicular distance between these two bolts is x x dash and this x x dash distance is given which is 125 mm right so this means that the center is somewhere here between these two right at the midpoint of x x dash right and let's say that center point is o so this means that uh, o x distance is 125 mm divided by 2 which is 62.5 mm now uh, the force is acting perpendicularly to this wrench right so let's say that this is that force and this force is making uh, this force is making 90 degrees with this wrench right and the length of this wrench is given uh, this distance is given sorry the distance between the force and this x point is given and this is the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from that point x now we are required to find the moment about this point o right so now we need to have the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from this point o so now if i draw a parallel line let me draw a parallel line to this wrench let's say this line is parallel to this wrench and if i extend the line of action of this force so still this 200 newton force is perpendicular to this new line and let's say the perpendicular this is the perpendicular distance of this 200 newton force from this point o right so actually we can find the moment at point o by using this formula r into f right since the force is perpendicular to this r right so now we need to find this r right So now if I draw a line if I draw a perpendicular from this point O and if I draw a perpendicular like this so as we can see that this small triangle is a right angle triangle and this O x distance is known which is 62.5 if I write so this is 62.5 mm right so now if I if we look into this triangle so then uh, this whole distance is let's say that the the point of application of this force is let's say point a so we know this x a distance and now r is equal to let's say that somewhere here is a dash right so this point this a a dash distance is equal to r right so i will write that a a dash distance is equal to r so now we need to find r so this means that that 450 mm distance is equals to x a dash plus a a dash and this is equal to that 450 mm which is given this x a dash plus a a dash is equal to 450 mm and we want to find this r and that is a a dash so a a dash is equal to 450 mm minus this x a dash so now we need to find this x a dash distance and then this will be our perpendicular distance of the force from this point o So now from this triangle we can see now we have a triangle like this if i draw it again so then this is perpendicular this is 62.5 and this is x this is o and this is our a dash and now we know this theta as well this theta is given which is 20 degrees 
So now from this triangle we can say that this uh, x a dash distance is the cost component of this 62.5, right? So we can say that r is equal to 450 minus 62.5 cos of 20 degrees, right? So this will give us r and now we can find the moment about point O. So r is 450 minus 62.5 cos of 20 degrees into F which is 200 Newton so this will give us the moment of this force about this point O. So this gives us moment about point O equals to 78253 Newton mm right since this R is in mm. So now to convert this into Newton meters we have to divide this by 1000 so then when we divide this by 1000 so we will get 7 8.3 newton meters right so this is the solution of this particular problem